The process of dredging involves a dredger that floats on water and pumps the material through a temporary pipeline to an off-site location, often several thousand feet away. This dredger acts like a giant floating vacuum suction equipment, removing sediments precisely. In this job, man and machine work in unison. The dredge master provides maximum productivity by adjusting the density and velocity of the dredge mixture. This can be also done by automatic control. It's an excavation activity or operation of pulling out gathering of sediments in the bottom of the water body. The dredged material can be effectively utilized for various purposes based on the suitability. During the process of dredging, the cutter is lowered to the bottom. As the dredger slowly swings sideways, the cutter is pushed to the bottom. According to design specifications, the maximum swing speed should not be higher than 20 meters per minute at the rotation speed of approximately 30 revolutions per minute. The cutter teeth can be of different kinds, according to the hardness of the surface. Flared teeth are used for peat, sand and soft clay. Narrow chisels are applied in packed sand and stiff clay. Teeth with pick points are used for soft and hard rock. The mounting geometry of parts and services teeth and adapters is free of play, self-adjusting and offers reduced contact area stresses. This ensures accurate and stable tooth position and increased lifetime of the mounting contact surfaces. The mounting geometry simplifies maintenance by ensuring that the teeth are easily removable from the adapters even with firm tooth clamping. Using appropriate cutter teeth will speed up the pace of dredging with high versatility and maximum productivity. Reclamation is best done using a pipeline to transport the dredged material to the place where it is to be sited for reclamation. This enables better control and least wastage of material. Both floating and onshore pipelines are used to transport this material dredged in the form of slurry with water. Normally, the ratio of the content of material to water is about 30 to 70. However, this ratio shall essentially depend on the material being dredged. The capacity of the dredger and the distance to which this material is to be transported. The materials have to flow out smoothly through the pipeline using proper pumping. If this does not happen, then additional boosters have to be deployed to ensure free flow of materials.